Hey y'all, on today's special edition of the COVID cookery, we're gonna be tackling the best meal of the day, brunch, and specifically the best darn scrambled eggs you ever had. This recipe is from Gordon Ramsay, and uh, it really is amazing. It's all about the cooking process. You'll notice the ingredients here, eggs, butter, salt, pepper, a little bit of sour cream or heavy cream. All pretty simple um, it's really about the technique if we do it nice and slow and don't let the uh, eggs get too hot uh, they're gonna be so creamy almost like a egg mousse and you won't believe how good they taste so here we go first step is gonna be to throw in some of this butter get a nice dollop of butter in there get it browning up uh, browning your buddies browning your butter is key it gives it a sweet nutty flavor that uh, you don't get if you don't get it a chance to brown a tiny little bit. One super important thing about this recipe is we will be salting it, but we're gonna be salting it after because if you add the salt early to the eggs, it uh, separates the water out of the egg. Egg is, uh, salt is usually an emulsifier, uh, but in this case it actually separates the fat from the water and that uh, results in less than creamy eggs. So once we got that butter nice and browned, we're going to hit it with some sweet old, plain old, white old eggs. You may notice I didn't mix the eggs outside of the pot. I, um, you want to put them just in the pot and stir them in there. No need to beat them on the outside of the pot. Uh, trying to think of an analogy here, but it's almost like making porridge and trying to keep it from burning to the bottom. Uh, you'll notice almost right away my heat got a little high. Uh, this is the key thing you want to avoid is not getting your eggs to those firm chunks that you're used to having. We're just going to bring the whole egg mixture up to temperature gradually. You'll notice my heat is super low. 100% this takes more time than making normal scrambled eggs, but uh, who doesn't have a little bit extra time right now anyway. So get your heat kind of in the sweet spot. Best to use a heavy bottom pan. I've got a copper bottom pan here, which helps spread out the heat and just keep an eye on it just constantly stirring constantly stirring no salt any seasoning in there yet so it's like we're working to make an egg soup uh, anytime you get those serious chunks you might normally see when making your uh, scrambled eggs too fast take it off the heat for a second turn down your heat and take the opportunity to maybe splash some black pepper in there. So that doesn't actually take that long. It's been maybe four minutes. We're getting pretty close to the consistency we want. Uh, the one thing you noticed is our buddy, the spatula, hasn't stopped doing his work. It's constantly stirring. If you walk away from this and uh, go make another pot of coffee, you're probably gonna end up with the, the same old usual suspects of your uh, scrambled eggs. By cooking slow like this, we prevent most of the moisture from escaping. We keep the water in there. Everything's going to be a little bit, uh, you know, sort of runnier, you might say, or moister than, uh, can you say the M word on television, than normal. But um, that's what's all the magic. So just toast your uh, bagel a little bit extra so it can stand up to the uh, moisture. Now we're pretty much done. I might even let it go a tiny bit longer. If you're getting to the edge where it feels like it might overcook, that's when you bring in your nice cold sour cream or double cream. Uh, this will give it some tang, number one, but number two, it'll help drop the temperature, shock it uh, to keep it from cooking any longer than you want. And trust me, while it's just four humble eggs and uh, a little bit of butter and a little bit of cream. This stuff is phenomenal. Uh, we can hit it now with a bit of salt and enjoy. Hope you're all doing well. Keep cooking. So there are the super duper eggs all plated up. A little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of cheddar cheese. Keep my dessert bagel on the side with a little bit of honey, maybe accidentally on purpose, a little bit on the eggs. Tasty.